If there is even just a financial reset due to the collapse of the US dollar then it will be more than an unpleasant, albeit temporary, period in time. The turmoil and suffering that will take place will be much more than most can imagine. Try going to a third world country. Experience firsthand how difficult life is and what crime is like. That's what we will get for at least a generation here in America when this comes to fruition. I like precious metals but we will need much more than that to get through it all. It will be unpleasant but will not last a generation, unless the sociopathic predators, the 1% somehow defeat the good people of the world, 75%. The useful puppets that fall between these extremes, 24%, don't matter. As for gold, we do know that central banks and sovereigns still value it as the ultimate reserve holding. They may dabble in crypto with their other fiat holdings, but they hold much more gold and sometimes much less gold than their face cards reveal. Why is this? Because when the music stops and the true amounts are revealed, we will know the reason why. Technology does make things different. It is a betrayal like never before, but as Thomas Kuhn has argued quite solidly, our scientific revolutions cannot be logically proven to be sound evidence of progress or improvement, as measured by history and the hindsight of our unpredictable futures. Time reveals all. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. You are here for your daily dose of the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Please take a second to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to also hit the notification bell. Thank you. With the national debt officially at $29 trillion and the additional, missing, $21 trillion discovered by economics professor Mark Skidmore at Michigan State University in 2017, we have a huge amount of debt and dollars floating around. The only thing still holding up the dollar is its universal use as a contract settlement mechanism in Russia and China and everywhere else, and that simply is not happening anymore. The global over-indebtedness has clearly restrained growth, a quick and dramatic shift toward greater accommodation by the Fed could begin to shift momentum from contraction toward expansion. The more the central banks print, the less the value of the currency. It's inflation, but also the return on each dollar invested goes down too. This is why fiat money printing will ruin itself. It's the snake eating its tail. The Fed is determined to produce inflation, the dollar's going to fall, and this will exacerbate the stock bubble, with stocks going through the roof. That's how it happened in Zimbabwe when their dollar was weakened. Their stock market soared. Now the US Treasury via the Fed will intervene directly and unilaterally to drive the US dollar lower, much lower. So the US stock market will soar, because inflation will make corporate profits look better, but it will be a mirage. The better place to be is in gold and silver. The fall in the value of the US dollar will be accompanied by the creation of more paper money without value via financial assets increasing in value. There ultimately is no substance to asset values, so when money eventually dies. So do asset values. While prices for debt rose, and rates fell, for every dollar borrowed, two dollars in wealth came into being. One cascaded through the GDP economy when it was spent. A second came into being as an asset, a receivable on the bondholder's balance sheet. Two for one. What genius thought of it. It was an artifact of a bond bull market, one that by all appearances ended in 2016. While it ran, the quantity of debt issued had no limit. And an ocean of bonds was filled. As bonds were issued, they amplified economic activity in one industry after another. The new jobs in those industries yielded income and savings. The savings largely found its way back into demand for bonds. What a great Ponzi scheme. Each dime of all that debt is someone's asset. Pensions are a form of debt. Promised entitlement spending is a form of debt. All told, the number of future cash flows promised truly unimaginable. If rates continue higher, no group of men can control the largest market on planet Earth, the debt market, eventually we'll hit our Minsky moment, when debt holders stop worrying about return on their money and begin to worry about the return of their money. If it sets off a stampede, bond values will collapse, along with all the pensions, wealth, and entitlements promised. Paradoxically, surviving claims on dollars should rise in purchasing power during that period, same as a dollar bought nine times more DJIA in 1932 than it did in April 1930. In 2024 as the money begins to run out, the freaks in Washington will begin to raid everyone's, who is not a public employee, retirement money. Yes, people are coming for your money, and they don't give a damn what you think about it. 
They will come for your 401ks first, no cash out. Mandated UST holding, annuity only payouts, for your protection, of course, most sheep will accept it. Social Security has no money. Workers pay FICA taxes to the Social Security Administration, SSA, and the Social Security Administration turns it over to the U.S. Treasury. In return, the U.S. Treasury gives the Social Security an IOU. So there is no pile of money sitting somewhere, just IOUs the endgame commenced a long time ago. The House of the City of London does not care about getting repaid. It simply offers credit created by the borrower's promise to pay, which in turn must be collateralized with real wealth. Just pay the interest, the globalists are happy. Don't pay, and the globalists foreclose on your country and steal its resources and all available wealth of the population and enslave it. By controlling a nation's debt, they control the government and its laws. As proclaimed by Mayor Amschel Rothschild, give me control of a nation's money, and I care not who makes the laws. Everything you think you own, that is used as collateral for the loan to buy it, like a house, car, etc., will simply be seized by the banks, as jubilee dollars, which is debt, will go to zero like all other debts in a jubilee, and the now worthless dollars will become useless to pay back your loans, so the collateral, your home, car, etc., will be seized by the banks for non-payment under your loan agreement. Given past history, it is clear that at some point, this house of cards must come crashing down. The whole world is in trouble with, for now, and backed by military might, the US dollar is simply the least bad of the world's currencies. US debt can be paid off, but only in the case of hyperinflation. It is easy to pay off trillions in debt when a loaf of bread costs hundreds of millions. Look at the recent history of Zimbabwe. The only problem is that when this occurs, no nation will accept US dollars. We will be on our own, isolated in the global economy we seek to promote. Chaos will reign, and millions will starve. Not an attractive scenario. I can't help but wonder if the world as we know it is due for an apocalyptic disaster, an asteroid strike or such. The power that be are aware of this and have taken the trillions of dollars that are unaccounted for to build their underground bunkers, not caring about anything but their own survival. All politicians are the puppets for money of the major European families. Who controls the so-called markets, which controls the governments? We are ruled from the shadows by an unelected force. A representation of these so-called European families, the international bankers, and the Roman Empire, RCC. The central banks are buying gold for a reason. They know what's coming. Deutsche Bank cannot recover no matter what the sunshine pumpers say. You can hope all you want, but the numbers don't lie. Be your own master, become your own central bank. The dollar is a debt obligation. Who needs debt obligations and why, if nobody will you ever fulfill these obligations? Nobody needs Federal Reserve notes, not even the Americans. The US can't pay its foreign debt of 29 trillion. The US doesn't collect enough revenues to pay the interest on the debt so it keeps borrowing money from China to pay the interest. The total domestic indebtedness debt including mortgages, credit cards, business debt etc. is 89 trillion dollars, that is over 400% of GDP, and how much of that debt will turn out to be bad debt. It surely makes you see that another, even worse recession is likely and not so far in the future. Historically, if a nation accumulates unreasonably big debt, it always gets involved in a world war, so to avoid paying the debt back. Hence my prediction, US will ally itself with the biggest debtors and fight a war against the biggest US dollar creditors. Centra banks are buying gold while simultaneously hammering the price of gold to their advantage. Central banks will continue their buying spree until hyperinflation destroys all fiat currencies. The US will return to a gold standard after the dollar gets to zero. So buy gold now while it's cheap and protect your purchasing power. Because there will come a day when those pieces of paper with dead criminals printed on them won't be worth the ink used to print them. The Fed will switch from paper fiat to digital fiat but it is still fiat unless and until it is backed by gold. Government has no money. It has currency that it steals by the trillions every year. Government produces nothing but misery and death, it's a crime syndicate with no equal. There is a reason why the founders wanted nothing but gold and silver as money, why the previous two banks of the United States failed or were killed, and why dishonest money creates perverted and immoral societies. They don't say money is the root of all evil for nothing. When the dollar eventually fails, the Great Reset will come. 
There is no way to predict what will happen, but I'm guessing many governments around the world will fail, nations will go bankrupt, armies will march. Social programs such as pensions will be a memory. Paper assets will become worthless, and hard assets taken over by the new state. The only thing I can think of that a person could own today, hide and carry into the new world order is gold and silver. I'm not sure they will help, but they wouldn't hurt. Keep stacking bitches. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like. Share. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you wholeheartedly to all those of you who have already donated. Stay safe and healthy friends.